hitting you with some of that Black Ops 1 as I take this dude out. I'm gonna lay down real quick. I'm getting shot. So let me wait for this dude to come. There we go, you little dumbass. Picked up my spy plane. Got my AK-47 out with the silencers so I don't be seen on the radar. You already know how I do. So I'm gonna take this dude out. Got my payback from way back. And this guy, I got your ass because you wasn't watching your back when you was in the front. So I'm laying down, making sure there's not nobody coming in the trailer. But I don't see nobody. So what's up guys? How y'all doing today? It's your boy King J. As I take this dude out through the paper mache wall. And I know y'all probably wondering. Man, you haven't made a video in a while, J. But I actually have. I made one four days ago. But guess what? It was a free Wheezy album review. And an hour after me uploading it, YouTube decided to take it down for no reason at all. The Web Sheriff. Have y'all ever heard of that shit? If you do, leave it down in the comment section below. I'm gonna take this dude out. And I just picked up my attack helicopter. Let me call that in. Now I'm gonna look down here. I got my other victim. And then there's gonna be somebody in the window. I got you too. I picked up my chopper gunner. Yeah, I got my chopper gunner. But back to what I was just saying, man. Honestly, what did I do to that video? I sat down, I wrote down my thoughts about Lil Wayne's album. As I take out these two dudes, they was trash. I wrote down what I thought about the album. I talked about it, got me a nice instrumental. And then I got some visuals, but I did not use nothing that was copyrighted. I used like 50 seconds of the video as I take out that dude. He was just sitting there in the corner, camping, getting his wings of redemption on. But I didn't do anything wrong to that video, but they took it down. I'm really pissed about that. And guys, the same thing happened to me when GTA first came out. I made a video telling people how to have sex with a stripper. I did a tutorial of it. It got locked at 301 views and YouTube took it down. And a bigger YouTuber had the same video up the next day and they were having so many views on it. So I'm like, man, did a bigger YouTuber flag it down or did YouTube just get me on some bullshit? But it is what it is, man. I disputed it. Hopefully everything will go well with that. But what I wanted to talk to you guys about today, yes, three minutes into the commentary, I got a topic. I wanted to talk about the balance of content on YouTube. And us as smaller channels, this is something that I see us do all the time. We'll make commentaries about something that's real, some real ass shit that'll make you think about something. And that'll be a really good topic, right? And it'll have some other people in the community wanting to make videos about that, which is cool. Then, it'll get to times where you'll see a lot of the YouTubers talk about the Black Ops 3 trailer. They talked about Advanced Warfare trailer. We all do those because that's an opportunity for us to get views. Then we'll bring those life stories. And we all have something that separates ourselves. But now with the whole Black Ops 3, you don't see nothing but people uploading this gameplay and that's all they want to see right now. There's really not that much to talk about. This is a YouTube drought. My sub box, man, it's really boring. How is your sub box? Who are you subscribed to that's uploading some good content daily? I don't know, or weekly, whatever. I'm just happy that I can sit down here and make a good commentary for you to enjoy because it's some people that's lacking that should not be lacking right now. I just cannot wait till August for that beta. But the bad thing about it is all the bigger channels have it early. And when we get it, it's going to be hard for us to get some views on it. We have to grind out Black Ops 3 to grow on YouTube. But I hope you guys enjoyed the commentary today. Leave it a like and a comment. Deuces!